Mike Reese with 2013 Saluki Hall of Fame inductee Becky Liss. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you. What's it mean to you? Um, man, it's almost indescribable. Uh, to, to me, it's, it's the top of the top. I, I don't think you can go any higher than this. It's, there is a pro softball league, but you know, to me, this is, this is beyond the major leagues. Mm -hmm. This is, this is the top. This is the ultimate. Was Southern a special time in your life? Absolutely. Absolutely. It was a, the greatest time, um, you know, each, I, I, each year, you know, from, you know, summer ball when I was a kid to then hitting high school to then college, you know, you just, you wanted to get better and better. And at each level, I seemed to just push myself to where I kept getting better each time. Mm -hmm. And when I got to college, you know, you're with other kids that were picked from other states and other colleges, and they're the best pitchers or the best hitters, and I mean, you're up against the best of the best. Were you heavily recruited? Um, you know, I don't think so. I, mm. um, you know, back then you made VHS tapes, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, I think I made like a 10 minute tape. We, it was, you know, we were kind of new at it and I made a 10 minute tape of me hitting. And the next thing I knew, I, I think uh, a friend had talked to Coach B about me, and she contacted my high school coach. And the next thing I knew, I got offered a scholarship, and she never saw me play. <laughs> and I thought, wow, you know. <laughs> so my dad had told me, like, that's just unheard of for a coach to offer a scholarship and just off a of video. Sure. Yeah. Sure. What, um, did the college game come easy to you? No, no. Um, a little slow at the start? It was rough. Uh, you know, the outside corner seemed to get a little bit wider, and uh, I had to learn to adjust to better pitching and, um, you know, the different off speeds, and it, it just got to make, you know, you had rises. You just didn't see that much in high school because the game was still, you know, pitchers were still learning how to do different pitches, but I struggled, I remember the beginning, and had to just learn learn a lot. Do you remember when it clicked? Um, man, I... Because it had to click at some point. Because you put up some serious numbers, especially the last two years. Yeah, it, it's, I don't remember. So it just, it was just about learning how to mature. You mm -hmm. know, it's, my dad always said the game you know, the game of baseball, it's, it was, you know, 9% mental and 10% physical. Mm -hmm. And, you know, physically I, I, I could handle the game, but then, you know, I had to learn mentally that, you know, how to approach each bat, each, each inning, and trying not to do more than what I was capable of doing and staying within myself. Mm -hmm. Becky Liss's father was Joe Liss, big leaguer. What influence did he have on your career? Oh, wow. Um, they, don't, they don't make him like him anymore. Um, he passed away, it was two years in October. So he, he just didn't teach you, like I said, the physical parts of the game. He, he broke it down mentally and he just, it was all fundamentals. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't, it doesn't get any more advanced than just learning the basics and the fundamentals and repetition and muscle memory. Mm -hmm. And as a kid, I mean, I hit seven days a week, <laughs> seven days a week. You know, I year round, year round. We, we had a, we took our garage and he put up a tarp and he went to the local, it was called a, like a, a fitness, mm -hmm. center. fitness center and they had a tennis court and he would go and get the extra tennis balls and we'd have a bucket of tennis balls and at that time I had two brothers that played so he would take a kerosene heater and we'd sit in the garage and soft toss to each other every night wow. just soft toss every night seven days a week and uh, 
you know, I'd, say, I'd come home you know, on a Friday. I'm like, hey, I want to go to a basketball game. I want to go out with my friends. He's like, absolutely, but you're going to hit, you know, <laughs> four buckets before you go. And sure, I mean, that's, I could do anything, but I had to hit every night. Because he wanted you to do what? He. Get a college scholarship? He wanted me to have an Play pro if you could? Out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, you know, he told me that, you know, like I said, there wasn't really a major league. So there wasn't you know, an opportunity for me to make millions of dollars like men's sports sure. do. And, you know, my, you know, million dollar paycheck was going to be my education. That's what he wanted. That was yeah. his absolute goal for me to get an education. He's a big league hitter. Is he teaching you baseball or is he teaching you softball? Or are they interchangeable and they might as well be the same? That's, that's the debate we have all the time because, <laughs> you know, we own a baseball school at home. Uh -huh. And so, you know, when people call and they say, you know, hey, we'd like Becky Liss to work with our daughter. And, you know, he'll say, my brother would be like, oh, well, she might not be here. Or, you know, at the time I wasn't, I could, I didn't work there. And um, he's like, they're like, well, we were, you know, he's like, oh, I could work with her. And they're like, no, we really want to work with Becky. And he's like, well, who do you think taught Becky how to swing? It was my brother. It was my dad. And, you know, like I said, it, the strike zone doesn't change whether it's baseball mm -hmm. or softball. It's, you know, and the swing really doesn't change either. You know, you're, it's just a hard swing through the ball. So I don't think there's a difference between softball and baseball. Yeah. Do you have a f favorite Saluki season from your career, Becky? I don't, I want to say my freshman year because, uh, you know, it's to come in as a freshman and start every game, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, you always have your seniors kind of putting you in your place saying, well, you know, we're, we're seniors, we're going to do the playing time. But, you know, I came in there, I thought, well, no, I'm going to hit my way into the lineup. So, you know, it was kind of unheard of for a freshman to come in and start. And I did. And, you know, I just, I wasn't going to tell anybody, or no one was going to tell me I was going to play just because of my age. Sure. So, You know, um, I think a lot of people watching this right now, Becky, think of Saluki softball in West Stadium. You know Saluki softball pre-West Stadium. What was that like? And remember, we're wearing microphones. <laughs> yeah, I, I will never forget. I thought the first thing you say is no restrooms. That wasn't the biggest part. The <laughs> biggest problem was, you know, I had like the career rec you know, record in doubles, which were off the top of the fence, majority, which was 230 and 225 oh. at the time. So I was, you know, we'd go to other parks and they were 190 and 200. So I'm like, you know, hey, Coach B, I'm like, can we put in a temporary fence up there? You know, help me out. I'm like, you know, these are these doubles are homers. Would be homers, like clearly. and. And, you know, and she just didn't, you know, kind of let it go in one ear out the other. And by goodness, the sooner I left, there's that temporary fence and then a whole new stadium. I'm thinking, man, I could just, oh. Ah, uh, you helped build it. Yeah. You helped build it, or at yeah. least the fence. Yeah. Oh, man. I was, I told her, I said, I'll even pay for it. I just, whatever you got to do, help me out with the, the 20 extra feet. Uh, good stuff. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Becky Liss, Saluki Hall of Famer.